Here in Nottingham, Andy Chick is seeking a resting place for three dead pigs. Before they're left to decay, two of them are injected with different amounts of nicotine. He's hoping to model how a human body would decompose if that person had been a smoker. The actual pigs were injected with a small dose of nicotine into the throat area, roughly where you would expect for the largest concentration of nicotine to be on a smoker. We're hoping that this will give sort of at least a ballpark sort of idea as to what effects it will have in the wild. As a corpse decays, insects feed off of it. Different species are expected at each stage of decomposition. But the presence of nicotine can delay visits from certain insects or even deter them altogether. The point about the nicotine is that it's a common toxin which is obviously present in a lot of people. It is one of the factors which may reduce the rate of decomposition because of course nicotine has insecticidal properties because it's a, it's a plant product which is designed to repel herbivores from eating plants. Two weeks later, the team is already seeing differences. There are more flies around the untreated pig. The flies on the treated ones avoid the areas that contain nicotine. We found that on the high dose pig, the flies were quicker to lay around the genital and anal regions before they'd saturated the head region. The low dose pig had eggs laid on the head, but nowhere else, at a much lower frequency than we noted on the control. A few weeks later, the untreated pig has decomposed the most. Maggots on the two others have accumulated at the ends of their bodies, which are nicotine-free. These differences could affect how the time of death of a smoker is calculated. The objective of this particular piece of research is to find out how important uh, this toxin, um, nicotine, is in relation to changing the rate of decomposition so that um, we can actually go back to the, the forensics um, investigators and say, OK, you need to add X number of hours to your estimate.